Welcome to the Kev and Pickle Show. As we always do, let us introduce ourselves. Fred, I think I got off on the we got off on the wrong foot. You said some things. I flooded some things. Let's start over, okay? No, I'm not EB from Hop. I am Kev. And I, of course, am Pickle Hop. That's the Hop, one with the, the Easter house. movie. The Easter, oh, the right. Easter movie. What am I thinking of uh, of a house going up in balloons? You're thinking of up, not hop. up. See, rhymes well, so it does look okay. But listen, Kev, brought it episode. Doesn't. One's up hop and hop. And one's up. It rhymes. The hop end with P. Yeah. So it is. So, Kev, we're on to episode number 64. But it is, of course... Easter. Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. Okay. Um, obviously, be Easter Sunday when the episode goes out. So, uh, hope everybody has and had... Then- and then on Easter Sunday, the, the, my other half of the podcast will be 37, uh, 38 well, even. Can I be? 38 can I be? even. We'll be back to on the same age again. So before the episode starts, happy pair to, happy pair to pickle. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, 38. Yeah, I'm child. Yeah, pretty much. Eh? But listen, as we said, we are on to episode 64, which means, of course, we are jumping right in. To the history and bear. Would you rather? The history and bear is from 1964, and we're jumping in, Kev, with what I would imagine was a pretty big deal back in the day, right? President Lyndon B. Johnson, because remember the other guy died last year. Remember he got killed, yeah. assassinated. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, he signed the Civil Rights Act of 19. 19- no, he did. No, I, I, hang on a second. He did get assassinated. This. Air quotes assassinated. No, he was assassinated. It just right. I don't think he was assassinated by the person that said assassinated him. Sorry, I'm like Joey and a friend. Sometimes I don't know when the air quotes are applicable, so I don't like, right? So he signed the Civil Act, Civil Rights Act of 1964 into law on July the 2nd. The Civil Rights Act made it illegal to discriminate against someone based on their race, religion, sex, national origin, or the colours of their skin. Good man, that's, Lyndon. That's going well, isn't it? Yeah. And just because we remember, unfortunately, when they came down, January the 18th, the plans to build a New York City World Trade Center are announced. I, to- I really thought you were going to say when the aliens come down to air. <laughs> I was sure you were going to go like Independence Day. Yeah, like no, no. Smith. Oh, what a film. Uh, no, but that's, I didn't know. I presume the World Trade Center was there like a very long time. Um, and that was just a, Well, that was when the plans to build, so I'm sure in the next couple of years, maybe we'll, they will have been erected. Um, so they will. So, it's a lovely word, isn't it? I know. You love me with certain words, right? So the last bit of history, the day before my birthday, right? So Saturday of this week, 1964. So April the 16th, the Assize Court in Buckingham, UK, Sentences totaling 307 years are passed on 12 men who stole. Remember, this is 1964, right? 2.6 million in used banknotes after holding up the night train from Glasgow to London in August. No, in August 1960 was when it happened, right? A heist, a heist, a heist, a heist, a heist heist heist. that becomes known as the Great Train Robbery. That was another great movie. Yeah, well, uh, oh, wait, I'm trying to remember who's in there. I can't remember that one. Was it no, Brod- Mat- Matthew Broderick, wasn't it? Oh, good, but my favourite bank one is Inside Eddie? Man. No, but, with, no, with that's Denzel. shit Ah, oh, fuck off. What? It was his worst movie that he's ever done. I never said it was his best movie. I said bank films. That's one that I like. No, you, no, you didn't say your love. Your love is the word you use. You said love. It's a shit movie. It's a rubbish movie. I think the heist had, um, what do you call him? Uh, 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 uh. Eddie Murphy. I was going to say Boris Johnson. No? Okay. No, um, Eddie Murphy. Okay, okay. Right. Well, anyway, look, I'm after mentioning the man. And I can't believe I mentioned him too early. We talk about Bojo, Kev, on this show a good bit. Okay? Yeah. Well, you never guess what. June the 19th, 1964, Bojo, Mr. Boris Johnson, with the hair, was born. So it was his birthday. Well, Kev looks up for the heist film, which it wasn't, he probably fell in that wrong. Isn't, that isn't the movie? No, 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 no. really isn't. Who's in the heist, Kev? Fucking, what do you call him? A fellow we mentioned before, um, Gene Hackman. Wow, that's definitely not the one I was thinking of at all, then, Kev. So it wasn't okay. And look, come here. I'm being very even with the ladies this week. There's two ladies and there's two men's birthdays, right? Kev, her surname is exactly what I would do to her, right? Bang on. Sandra Bullock, right? Okay. 
July 26th. So she's 57. She's 57, Kev. Like, I don't know what a 57-year-old's meant to look like, but... It's not meant to be whole. No, it's really not. And then another one who looks more than 57 and one of our technically favourite people in one of our favourite shows ever, Monica Courtney Cox, June 15th, 1964. So, yeah, but... Who would you pick? Sandra, I'd pick Sandra. Oh, all day long. Doesn't mean yeah. Monica looks a mess now. So she does like, hey. Right. Last Ta- one, Kev. Ta- Tower Heist was the movie. Tower Sorry. Heist. Yes, Tower yes, Heist. yes, yes. Last one, Kev. Let me name Joe Wick. What just squealed in the back of your house? My daughter. Nice. Okay, Kev. Jo- Joe Wick. John Wick. John Wick. Um, John Wick. Bit of Matrix. Keanu Speed. Reed. Yeah. So imagine, he was born on the 2nd of September. Two people, birthdays in the same year, were born the same year, were in the same film, on a bus. Well, it was the same movie, Pickle. So, yeah, was, the, yeah. the two of them were in the same film, born the same year, same birthday, same age, everything. That's just amazing, so it is looking. Um, Kev, that is the roundup of 1964's history and birthdays for this it's, week. It's getting better. You're, you're getting better at telling the story of, 19, of the years. Thanks, mate. I appreciate that. I really do. Okay. Um, look, we always do the plugs, Kev, before we jump into a week's just to get it out of the way and done because we don't forget anybody. We have to give a shout out to Michael Lynch, of course, as always, massive supporters of the show. If you need anything, as we said every week, communions, confirmations, or you just want to look fucking tidy, get your ass in there, okay? Tony's Pizzeria. I have to give a shout out to a certain man. He's a delivery man. I did not catch that man's name. He dropped chips up to me there about half an hour ago, and he said at the door that he loves it. Him and Vinny are loving the show. We know Vinny loves the show. I didn't get the man's name, okay? But, buddy, you know who you are. This is a shout-out for you. Um, last Saturday night, I put a picture on our story of the rap that I got in Tony's. Oh, yeah. I don't know if Vinny has a name for this rap yet, but he really needs to consider the Kevin Pickle Show rap, right? It's basically a chicken curry with it? cheese. And so chips, chicken, curry sauce, and cheese, right? In a wrap. And you could add bacon to it if you wanted it, which I just didn't have the balls to do. I'll do that like tomorrow or something. Um, so I will. Unbelievable, though. But seriously. Tomorrow? Yeah, Fuck well, me. No, it's all right. I actually got... I'll have to give a shout-out to my... Yo, tomorrow's good Friday, Pickle. Tomorrow's good Friday. You only eat fish on a good Friday. Yeah, I have a lasagna there to eat because I got it today for my birthday off my... Sister in law, she you can't eat tomorrow. Of course, I can, Kevin. It's the one, and I also have a, another thing in there, which is like a chicken well, and some sort of stuff. Hold, hold on a second now. This is a man that's now has found God again, right? That hold on, no, let me finish. He's found God again, okay? He's okay. coming to mass on a weekly basis, right? Yeah, and now you're going to eat meat on a good Friday. Don't rush me into this. I'm taking it slow. And also, when we talk about our weeks, I'm going to mention something about God, okay? And I'm going to get your opinion on it, okay? But yeah, Tony's Pizza Reader there on Power Street, guys. Check that shit out, okay? And then, the last thing we have to mention, right, which you do every week, but this week, I have something a little different to mention about it, okay? So, as always, you mentioned Peter Cherry Goalkeeping Academy, okay? We shared a post the other night on it, okay, which was saying how... If I could just get the damn thing up here on the system, how he now has new classes going on, okay? And yeah, for the life of me, can't find it. Uh, do 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 do. Oh, Peter, tell you, new classes coming out, so yeah, yeah. get on. Go to keep it. go keep them for beginning, right? Check them out there. There's new class there. It was already half full, so it was okay. But check it out. It um. Instagram, Facebook, contact numbers on the post as well. I know we share it. I just can't see the post here. Ah, here we go. Sorry, guys. So, goalkeeping for beginners. Due to the demand, another class will be added. This class is already half full, so be quick if you'd like a space. Contact them. Uh, there's a phone number there and through social media as well, okay? It's Peter Cherry, Goalkeeping Academy. Get into it, guys, or get on to it. Kev, how's your week? As I said to you, I had a busy week. Uh, I knew I, I was one of a busy weekend, so my son had his first... What was the co op that they call it? Blitz. Uh, at, no, athletic event, first of all, on the, on the Saturday. So, he had an athletic event on the Saturday. He fin- he got a silver medal. He's in the August. So, he got a silver medal in his javelin. Holy in his fuck. Turbo jav- yeah. He turbo the- javelin. What's that? It's called it's called Turbo Javelin. So, it's the kids' version of a javelin. Yeah. Instead of they can't have a this spike, they can throw, 
pega people. I thought it was like it's a rocket like, on the back of it that made it go a bit it, faster. It kind of looks, it kind of looks like a rocket. It's kind of had the thing at the back of it as if it's. Wow, that sounds classy. Yeah, so that's so you he, he got a silver medal for, and then he took part in his first blitz for Gaelic football, and yeah, he won all three games, and he played yes. a storm eyes. Yeah, so very Come good for him. Well done, Evan. But, yeah. Bravo. So, well done, buddy. So, the, well so done. the next loud, and people are saying, oh, you could be, that, that, be, that fellow would be a midfielder. So we'll see how he gets on. And so it'll be a javelin midfielder. Yeah, so yeah, go for it, kiddo. Apart from that, that uh, uh, I just, it's now comes a thing, like, I'm now one of those parents that just travels around just following their kids, as in, <laughs> what, oh, they have to go somewhere. Okay, we go swimming. Okay, we have to go. Football, okay, we have to go dancing, okay, we have to go Gaelic. Yeah. So I'm one of those parents now. So yeah, I never thought I would be, but yeah, here I go. Fair play, man. That was a good week, though. And it's great when at the end of it, your child has successfully achieved everything that he set yes. out to do that weekend. Like, you know what I mean? Well, well he's aiming for, we've, we've another athletic competition now in about three weeks' time. So he's, he, hopefully, he's going for gold. Yes. Next month. Set them targets, man. You know what I mean? got to set them fucking targets. I'm nearly here ripping the fucking table up here. But he's, only, on. he's, six, he's only six years of age and he has to, he's now going to be pref- in the, what's it called, the cage category of under nines for the job. And so that's a bit, you, you, you find that an awful lot tougher. You know, he's he, under eight, you find, he was under eights last week. He'll be under nines for the, the loads. He's going to smash it though. He could walk up to a nine year old and just go, fucking, uh, what do you ask? Hey, size of some nine year olds, let's be honest. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. But no, happy days, kid. That's great tonight. I'm delighted for me. Um, anything else? Why you're excited? No, we have box fit and all that. Give a shout out to Anthony. Oh Anto. yeah, oh, walking away, walking in the box fit. Yeah, it's a great, great, great. A new runner for us, and then there's a lot of new leggings, which is absolutely fantastic again. Not wrong with that. And a quick shout out. Did you get any response this week from your uh, Tunisian team because of the shout? Was that last week? Did we give them a shout out for? Yeah, Ramadan? no, that no, the week no. Per- yeah, the person no hasn't come back to me. Uh, but yeah, Ramadan's going well. There's two weeks gone on Ramadan, so God, God help them. I couldn't do a pickle. No, no well, drinking, didn't... no drinking or eating in the bite. So I think it started. So it starts at four a.m. Yeah. Okay, and it goes to seven p.m. Okay, so they can't eat or drink, yeah. smoke, or do nothing like that uh, I in s- between those. Hours. I saw a picture of a Bundesliga referee that stopped the, stopped game, the game to allow the guy to have a drink. Because it was the end of his Ramadan, you know what I mean? The end of the day, or yeah, you know what I mean? I don't know what yeah, it wrongly, it was, yeah, uh, to sun, break the it sun had, correctly. The sun had gone down, the sun yeah, had gone you down, you know what I mean? And that's great. I remember that happened, I think, last year or somewhere else. I remember seeing it somewhere. Yeah. It's like, that's so just... I, my team, my team have challenged me, okay, to do it for a day, okay, no drinking or no eating for a day. Uh, so I might, I'm going to try that next week. I used to be uh, handy and... when you were hungover, Kev. Okay? You just need to go yeah. get drunk. No, no, I couldn't do that. I, I, I had to eat when I was hungover. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I drank a lot of Pepsi. No, I, I see so you can't drink or eat anything. Sponsors. We are looking for sponsors of the show. <laughs> okay. I've got a good cola by far, but yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, so I'm going to try for a day next week. Happy days, Kev. Happy days. But look, come here, let me tell you about my week, right? So first of all, my uh, beloved Ramsels had another preseason friendly out in the Rock. We won 2-1 and we had like no team. We had 13 players. Was that, uh, the, was that on the lights? Oh, it was under the lights. Um, Half lights. They didn't have them all on, which I thought was weird. Maybe they were trying to save actors or save money or something. I don't know. They had like two on instead of the three on on them all. So, but yeah, two on win, which is great. You know what I mean? Because we're just building up to the start of the season. So, uh, And then, Kev, you mentioned about God. Kev, you've gone very yeah. dark. You've gone very dark, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> all the lights are still on. So I, don't know what happened I think now. it's the screen, is it? No. Right. So listen, right. Okay. The thing you said about God? Yes. Well, Kev, I went to the church the other day. Sorry, and yes. God's door was not open to me. <sighs> I thought sh- God's sh- door was always open. I thought God's door was always open. It is. Well, it depends what time it is. It was like six o'clock. In so the evening? Been, yeah. So it would have been like an hour before Mass. Or an hour and a half before Mass at half seven, probably. It was Monday, I think it was. Yeah, Monday. Because it wasn't working Monday, yeah. Um, so, and God's door was closed, Kev. So there you go. That's why I meet me tomorrow. Okay, that's fucking vengeance. And then something now that we always say we like to have a segue. Be- be- vengeance. Vengeance. Yeah. Um. So the you know way we like having a segue that we talk about something that leads yeah, into something else. So I went and gave blood on last Sunday. So I did. Uh, didn't look good at one stage. The nurse was wasn't sure because the vein that comes out is on the side of my arm instead of right in the middle where the druggies would go for. So uh, she didn't know. <laughs> 
And uh, well, I so why the side? Well, yeah, so, so like, you are completely fucked up, aren't you? Really? Yeah. So like it was like nearly like here okay. instead of being like there. It yeah. was like, and again, for anybody on Spotify, I'm pointing out my arm. Uh, so it was like over here a wee bit. So, so we go 45 degrees in a different angle uh, on his forearm, Pickles, the main vein is, instead of yeah. being, where normal people is, on the, the crook of your elbow. There we go. See, Kevin, you're just warding so fucking beautifully, see, dude. But yeah, so this one was like, I don't know about this. I have to go and ask somebody else. Some other woman come over, dressed differently, so maybe she was more of a head. Senior. Uh, yeah. So she came over and was like, Tap, tap. She was, yeah, that's grand. Was, I'll take that out. And I was like, good woman, thanks so much. Because remember, I'm that rare type that goes to kids. I got a text message today, goes to babies, and it was used in Galway. So it was. So that's good. Now, this is the segue bit, right? We did some polls during the week, right? Yeah, we did. And the first thing that I did was I asked about, do you, have you ever donated blood, right? And... Because they lost the screenshot, and I remember off the top of my head before, it was around about 27% or something, right, said that they had given blood before, okay? Mm -hmm. The problem was, though, when I then asked, do you currently give blood, 84% of the people said no. So here are some stats for you that I was given when I was giving me blood, right? 7% of Ireland, of our population, donate blood, right? No, that's a lie, sorry. 3% of the population are the blood type of me, okay? Okay. But only seven percent of the entire population actually donate blood. Okay, which be about right for what, what uh, Paul had said. Yeah. So, like, I'd love to like somehow try and encourage more people to go and give blood. Okay. I don't like, give blood. You are now because that's what the next thing is. Okay. <laughs> I'm never right. giving blood. You are in four no. months' time. You're giving blood with me after we get no. our tattoo done. You're giving I'm blood. Not, I'm ninety-eight. 98% of people, which I think is probably even less than the people who wanted me to get a tattoo, right? Because um, that was 100%, um, wanted you to give blood because I'm getting the tattoo. So I'm not getting the tattoo unless you live on this right now. Make no, fucking... I'm not giving blood because they don't... I am that unlucky, right? I am that sort of person, right? That would give blood, okay? And get knocked down as I come out of giving blood and then I need to fucking stuff back. Why That's would how you... unlucky... What, how, what, do you even know what blood type you are? I think I'm, well, I'm A positive, I think, or B positive. Right, okay, I'm, so, I'm one of the positive because yeah. my wife is a negative. She's all negative, no. I don't know what she is. Yeah, that's and the then, rare one. And I think, and then the kids were, Jesus, I am getting very dark. You are, okay. It's, you know, it looks like it's because your screens are going dark. Oh, hold on, I'll lean back a little bit. That doesn't um, help. You look dark, and you look like you're going into an abyss. And I think it's because the light behind you that was outside's gone off. The there, kids, the kids, the kids were positive. Okay, right. so she became then reached this negative. So I used to have the jab uh, every Jesus. now and again to, uh, with, in a, with an injection to make sure she didn't clot around with that. So yeah, she was reached negative. It's called I think. Any excuse the jab or her. So it no is. way. I will not be given blood. No, I was like, I'd be needing it more. I'd need. I'd, I'd, I'd collapse coming out of it or something like that. Kev, you wouldn't. Hey? I'm telling you, right? So look, we did a couple of funny right, would you rather questions. I well, barely Kev. got me fucking vaccine. I'm not going to get fucking stuff taken out of me. After we got My God. Hey. To me. You suck, Kev. You absolutely suck. Right, Kev, would you rather that we did? Uh, I, 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 in your words, I go, that's what she said. There we go, buddy. There we go. I love it. I'm so bright and radiant, like I'm heading to heaven and you look like you're just on the way to hell. It's because the light outside went off, Kev, because we could see something Is behind it? you and now we can't see yet. And so, right. While Kev's in the darkness, Kev, would you rather, right, just because of the questions that we did, right, drink a pint of sour milk or a pint of piss? Piss. So only 46% of people said piss and 54 said milk. That was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. I got to be. Why? You drink milk, wouldn't you? Yeah, probably, yeah. Uh, Why, you know? If, if it was cool piss, if, if, it was, if it was piss that was stored in the fridge. And then it was cold. Then I drink it, but I wouldn't drink sour milk. No way. Know. Sour milk. Yeah. Oh, it, oh, I had before, ripped, and it was disgusting. By it. it ripped the insides you out. Yeah. And then, would you rather change the past or see into the future? See into the future. No, yeah. Fifty-eight percent said mm. that, and forty-two said change the past. Change the past or see into the future? I don't really want to see. I don't really want both. I'd rather live in the present. 
You're such a fucking well, prick. We have to think about this is how we think. I yeah. think about it, mental illnesses and mental fucking shit going on. You have to think of the present and not think of the past. Yeah, but would you just, rather be past. off your tablets or still on them? Like, well, hang on a second. The past is. Oh, I'm going brighter again. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck happened now? So the past, like we we all have issues with past. Okay. Yeah. And then, They're called really repressed to, memories. Yeah, I don't really want to know anything about the future because. That could be shit either as well, you know what I mean? So uh, I'll stay in the present. Fair play, fair play. And then the last one that we did, and I love the response to this one was, right, would you rather find love or find a million euro? I'm most people are going to say, oh, I've already found love and all that sort of shit. Ah, fuck it. Like 66% said find a million euro. So did it. So yeah, that was the fun would you rather that we had this week Kev, on the show. Uh, so listen, take for me to ask you your would you rather question for the week, okay? Oh. I thought you asked me that. I thought it was, that was what was no. No, that was just okay. a that was just a fucking um Holy the ones that, yeah the ones that we did yeah. So here we go right. This is a this is a, a different type of one because we were talking about past and future there right. So would you rather go into the past and meet your ancestors, or go into the future and meet your great great grandkids? I'd rather go back. What history have you got? Is there anything important? I, go back I don't. I don't know. I, I don't find out, like, well, I, well, I think my grandparents. I don't know what my wife is doing. Now. She's squirting chocolate sauce into her mouth. Very weird. Uh, I don't know. And um, episode name: <laughs> Chocolate sauce, squirting chocolate sauce. <laughs> uh, but uh, so I rather went past. No, I think me 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 mother's ancestors had a few pounds back in the day. Uh, so no I'd like way. to see what they. Well, I think they had. Uh, huh. So I'd like to go back and see that. So let's carry on. No, I wouldn't like to see the future because, as I said before, the earth is getting hotter. Okay, now nothing to do. As I said, nothing to do with human beings. Just the earth is getting hotter. Okay? I you didn't believe in global warming. No, it's not human. Right. I did, okay. As I said before, the earth is cycles. It can get it's cold. Yeah. It gets hot. Yeah. Nothing to do with human beings. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll go back in the past. But based on this global Thanks. warming shit, right? <laughs> Our old mate, fucking Eamon Ryan, is at his fucking cock sucking again, right? We're Thank God you to... said him and not somebody else. So people are going to think we're like the Healy Rays. Well, we're now going to stop cutting okay. tough in Ireland, right? Yeah, what's that? Wait, what? What so, is the story with that? So we're going to ban cutting tough in Ireland, okay? But we're going to imp- we're going to be allowed to import. Tough from Latvia and Lithuania. Okay, so let's just break this down, you fucking dickhead of the Green Party, right? We're not going to ban it from Ireland, okay? But we're going to let trucks and cargo travel with diesel engines across Europe, burning diesel, okay? Warming the globe, okay? To bring tough that we could have had here. With minimum fuss. With, with minimum travel. So that's, we're going, and that's a great idea. That's a great idea. Because the, I'm Eamon Ryan, and that's a great idea. I'm happy you mentioned that, because now this makes sense. I saw a headline today where it said something about Leo is going to run the rat of the Green parties because he's getting his party, Fine Gael, to object to... It must be distant, because it said something about turf. I didn't read it, because I don't give a fuck. Um... And this yeah. tuft that will be arriving from Lithuania will be wrapped in plastic. And how's plastic made? Right? Oil. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what can't be recycled? Most plastics. Yeah. So not yeah. only it's like I don't I don't know. He's just uh, I don't know yeah. what you'd call him. I don't there's no words that would describe him and Ryan. No, he's so backwards, he's frontwards. He's just he's 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 insane. Like the man no, thinks. He's so against country life. He's so against country life. Uh, and he's so for city life. It's yeah. absolutely ridiculous. And I'm sorry, I won't bow down to him. No, not a fucking chance. Let's yeah. be honest. In a year and a half, he's going to be out of the power. And is that how long uh, it is? When are we voting again? I don't know. Probably 24, a year and a half. 25 or something. I don't yeah. know when the fuck it is. Say. Deadly. Right. Okay. So look, we said then. So you're going to go back to the past, right? Okay. Quick thing then. What about you? I'd probably like to, well, no, but see, my great an- ancestors were all obviously Protestant. So, like, uh, what would I be seeing? Like, them bowing down to the second James queen? James of Orange. 
yeah, or, or like would I have saw them with that fat guy on the but, vine? But no, where, like, but where are they? Where are the Protestants? The well, you, you told me to wear like I don't know well, the name, the name, the so surname would, would 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 probably have an element of Protestant. Yeah, in it. Yeah. Um, but no, I think I'd rather go to the to the, to the see me great great grandkids because then I could know if all the sport that I'm gonna like make my kids do if it worked, and then their kids, and then their kids, and also if they have any issues like I had, and hopefully they don't, and see what kind of antidepressants they have in the future. Um, right, Kev. So listen, right, there'll be some great ones, couldn't there? This would be I'd great. I'd say the tablets like that size would be huge. Like you're literally injected into your arm, and you're like, oh, I feel great. I see it snorting. Oh, that'd be fun. It's been a long time since you did that. Uh, right. So the listener, would you rather? Man, we spent way a long time. Would you rather? Question. Very quick one. It was from Sarah and Coffee Times. So was able to read it out. Not sure if we did this one already ourselves, but fuck it. It was sent in to us. Would you rather know when you're going to die or how you're going to die? Because she sent it to me. She was like, how? "You're welcome." <laughs> how? How? Really? I don't know when. I, I don't know. Again, that's future. I think it's when. Yeah, I know you. This is not a future shit. episode at all. It's future shit going on. So, no. so just, just how? How? Right, grand. No, but I, my, for me, it's when I'd like to have a timer. So I would like, hey, right, Kev, let's get into this week's show. I think, I hope. Um, our first topic this week. Oh, party no. songs. Yeah. No. Hold on. Wait a minute. No, sorry, guys. I have. We we are here, right? Because if people ever need us to promote, like an event or something like that, right? Just let us know. My sister Rowena asked me to give this a shout because it's happened in um, Talonstown, right? Or around that direction, okay? Skittles Tractor Run, Sunday the 1st of May, uh, starting at Lennon's Pub in Talonstown. Registration from 11.30 a.m. Tractors and vintage cars are all welcomed. Uh, you can contact uh, Ray and Dougie. Uh, the numbers and all that are on it. It's an aid of the RD Hospice Home Care. Okay, I just wanted to, uh, to drop that in, guys. Sorry. Uh, right, Kev. So, what's the crap? Party songs, disco songs. Yeah. Stuff that made us happy back in the day. Mm, 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 mm. Staying alive, staying alive. Okay, I'll actually, actually go number list. five. That's not actually on my list. So, Dirty. <sighs> From Christina. I I, I, that wouldn't make it. I, I was actually, I actually seen that the other day. Yeah. That was some scared. Yeah, it made me and happy red, in my pants. So it did. And red, happy in my and pants. Red, and red knickers. Yeah, happy in my pants. Um, yeah, it made me happy in my pants. And also, there was a girl I used to walk with Vodafone, whose name is not something I'm going to say. Uh, whenever we that song would come on and we'd be at a Vodafone night, she would dance the exact same way as Christina Aguilera at my crotch. So, um, yeah, good girl. Um, never shifted at all. Fuck, I tried. Um, is there oh, anybody yeah. you didn't try, Pickle? <laughs> Let's be honest. Uh, in Vodafone, but probably had me. Nah, Vodafone was like a free for all. Um, so it was like, I, I've well, I'll go boom, boom, boom. Oh, I man. want you in my room to spend the night together, together in my room. Boom, 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 boom. And this would have all been like an arrow oasis days, wouldn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. See. My number four, Kev, is a weird one because it's not necessarily a song as more any song from this band, right? But I am going to go with a song, though, and it's Fav, right? And the song I'm picking is Everybody Get Up. Everybody right? get up, sing it. Boom, One, two, two, two three, four. Five will make you get down, down. Get down now. Get on down. Yeah, I think I just the one thing I remember from the Oasis is, is five for some reason their songs always just being like a if you're near the dance floor you're like jumping on the dance floor it's like yeah whoa, whoa, whoa let's rock this shit out like um but good my songs like good yeah. songs like my number four I have to mention Backstreet Boys Backstreet Boys yep. everybody everybody yeah yeah rock your body you have sang. Backstreet Boys, yeah, yeah, yeah. way too often on this podcast. Why? So you have like a, I thought, well, like I'm sure if you have Backstreet Boys there, you're bound to have a, either Westlife or NSYNC or something in there as well. Like, see how like knowing hold you, on, like, hold on. hold on. See, guys, just the audio quality. That's so low, it's not even funny. There we go. I love when Kev figures out where the microphone is on his phone. <laughs> All right. 
Oh man, hey. What um, a tune. Yeah, what a tune is right, Kev. Holy shit balls in a bucket. Hey. Uh, right, I got a bit lost on my number three here because I, I had I had four songs down, right? That could all have been number three, right? And I okay. ended up going with, and I don't know if we mentioned this one like a week ago or two weeks ago. Cascada. Every we time we Cascada. touch. Yeah. yeah. And it, we were mentioning it as if it was done as a slow song and widen song. And I've seen it on TikTok. A lot of people think. So I yeah. think we should ask Sarah. I okay. meant to. I said you had a song and I couldn't remember what the fucking yeah. song was. Well, well, now you remember. There it is. We want Sarah to sing Cascada only in the slow version as a love song. Daddy. But that was a song that was like, because you're also at that stage with that song, because the words of the song, like you were literally trying to touch anybody. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, yeah, like, you were. You say you were. Right. Like, not anybody. Well, my anybody. number three. Are you ready for my number three? Yeah. It's Mambo number five. Right. Nice. <laughs> Give it a Mambo number five. Look oh. big baby. And you learned all them girls' names off in order. You knew them all. Ready? Oh my god. See, imagine you if we the... had a sponsor, Kev. Right? You the I can't even hear it. Oh my god. You know they're getting the sweeter. Right. So if we had a sponsor on the show, guys, we could do stuff like not hold our phones up to the microphone. <laughs> we could use like a soundboard. We could do all these kind of things to make this podcast even better for you guys. So we have different things that we pay for every month that makes this podcast work. So seriously, anybody wants to come on board as a sponsor, we're not fucking joking, right? Come on board with us and right, go on this fucking journey let with us. us okay? Let us have equipment. Yeah, let's have some goddamn equipment. My sexy producer assistant is looking at me peculiarly. Right, okay, number Kev, two. One, number two, right, number two for me, Kev, and I'm going to attempt to do what you're doing now, which is I'm going to attempt to play this song, because I remember when this song came on, uh, it was straight to the dance floor. Oh, yeah, Tickle. Yeah? Yeah, country, was it Country Roads? Country Roads, buddy, yeah. Um, I don't know why. I just I was, was going through a very good pickle. That was a very good choice. Yeah. Also, Kev, weirdly enough, right on my Zoom here now, I'm getting something up that asks me, "Am I playing music?" Right. So maybe there is a way of playing music without right? putting the phones up. I have to, might have to investigate that. But yeah, country roads because uh, <coughs> we were country bumpkins back in the day, Kev. You know what I mean? So now, I know what your number one is now. I so I didn't go for that number one. So I I'll my number two. I guarantee you do not know my number one is, man. Right. Are you ready for this? This is my number two. Can't hear us. Yeah, everybody's Kev. Can't, can't even hear what's going on, Kev. Yeah. And how the fuck? But I'll live in the Vida Loca. How the fuck did you know that was my number one? I didn't think that was your number one. That was my number two. I'm my number fucking one. <laughs> that, that's your number one. I'm my number one. Loca. Ricky Martin, Excellent. Living La Vida Loca. And it's oh, simple because good. for some reason, when that song used to come on in the Oasis, now it wasn't obviously a very big lad back then, Kev, right? But my hips suddenly started moving in a way that I was adamant. I am doing the exact dance that Ricky Martin was doing in no, Living La no, Vida Loca. No, no, no. Pickle, you're not Latin, right? You no, might have taught. No, you might have taught you were in doing here, it, right? In here, yeah, I in, just like, in there, yeah. the hips were just moving in a way that it was like, oh my god, I could look, look at all the girls looking at me, not coming near me. Why aren't they coming near me? Ooh, this is weird. <coughs> so I'm, so, my... yeah, I'm so cool. They're actually staying away from me. Yeah. They want to admire it from afar. Yeah. Wait, they're yeah. getting further away now. Now they're, now they're upstairs. Shit, now they're really far away. Now they're in the minibus. Shit. Right. What's your number? Well, that's my number one then. What's your number one, Kev? My number one. And will you tell us? Born Slippy. Yeah. Nice. Good job everybody knows what Born Slippy is because we can't hear a thing that Kev has to his face. So we can't, like. It's not working, Kev. It's not working. I swear to God, man. Everybody knows a Born Slippy. There we go. For a second. You might move your finger off the mic, Kev. 
There we go. Well, hold on, we have to, hold on one second. Now. And we Wait have to do honorary mentions. Well, you have two honorary mentions. I have three, actually four. Jesus, I could have had a top. There we go. When that went going in Amber on a Monday night, right? And you know what normally followed that song? And it's one of my mentions is Insomnia. Fatally Fearless, right? Fearless. Inso- right? That would not, them two together, it was like a drug fueled Monday night sesh in Amber, like, right? Well, Without my, the drugs. One of my honorable mentions has to be I Got a Feeling by Black Street Boys. No, but Black Street Boys. No, <laughs> Black, Black Eyed Peas, even. Uh, yeah, I got a feeling my uh, black eyed peas. Well, uh, rock DJ, because I love Williams. I love a bit of that, right? Uh, and then, because you've one more, have you? I have one more. Right. I, don't mention you. I have two, right? One fifty cent in the club, because it was all about the like the, the grinding. Because I wasn't sure whether to pick that or was it Nelly? It's hot in here. In yeah. here, in, in here, on her. What is that? I love, I love your American <laughs> accent. Yeah. What? yeah, you're my, you're sorry, you're my heaven and more American accent. Yeah, it's, it's getting hot in here, lad. Oh, brother, brother, you know something? It's getting hot in here. Yeah, here, you know, here, brother, you know, it's getting yeah. hot in here. Nelly from from Cox yeah. and the heaven more combined. Oh man. man, yeah, sorry for that. That was meant to be kind of like Nelly style American. Uh, what's your uh, honorary, other honorary mention? Well, the husband, uh, Low by Flo Rida. That was oh, me yeah. and my wife's uh, song, and she was very good at getting low, 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 low and boots with the four and a whole lot going on. Nice. My last one then was Sex on Fire because I just think it's a savage fucking song. So it's like, no, I can't no, 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 no. Sex on the beach. Oh, Come yeah. on, your body. Sex on the beach. Woo. Right, Kev. I want to talk to you about something that's important to a lot of men, Kev. I want to talk to you about premature ejaculation. Okay. And the it reason well, it worked out well for you, Pipple. You two kids out of it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, alive. I... People used to say premature ejaculation didn't have any spam in it, but Pickle was proving us all wrong. And then he used to have two wonderful children, and one's my godson. Yeah. Uh, premature ejaculation. So well done, Pickle. Brilliant. Thanks, Kev. So listen about that. Bastard. Scientists think they've found a cure for premature ejaculation. Remember before they were on about the the pill? The male pill. Yeah. And but they tested it on rats or something, right? Yeah. Well, wait till you fucking hear this, Kev, right? A study has indicated that there may be a pretty damn effective treatment for premature ejaculation. They say that over and over again. The bad news is said treatment involves getting electrodes stuck to your little chap for 30 minutes zapping sessions three times a week. Okay. So and this is where I appreciate okay. this bit, right? Doctors tried the method out on a 28-year-old man with a mean IELT of 40 seconds. You might ask, what is an IELT? Well, it means an intravaginal ejaculation latency, latency time, okay? In case that's an acronym you don't regularly use, which, of course, we don't use that often, so okay? He lasts 40 seconds once he's inside yeah. the vagina. Yeah. So that's a, that sounds a bit right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anybody says five minutes is lying. Yeah. Uh, upon finishing the treatment after 24 weeks, right? So, so three days minutes. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, three times, times a, week. a week. 30 minutes. So 90 minutes of zapping on his little chap for 24 weeks, which is six months, unless I'm wrong, right? Yeah. Yeah. He'd upped his IEL T time to 3.9 minutes. That's and, a long, that's some difference. Ah, but Kev, sure, well, he was there going, she's already done it for six months, keep her going. So by week 60, <laughs> right, it was up to 4.9 minutes. So like, you're talking 40 seconds to 4.9 minutes. That's a thousand percent increase. I We don't do maths, but I'd say it's at least a thousand percent increase, yeah. I think that but is... Just, just on, I, it's going to make a segue as we look over, like, uh, yeah. and, uh, and I'll segue into it. About this uh, pill, okay, um, it was, Loose Women was on in the background the other day, and they were laughing at men and this pill. Would you trust oh, yeah. your man to take it? How could you trust him to take it? And all this sort of carry on. And I think for women to come out and be able to say that about men, okay, and 
putting down men in that sort of to say because men are stupid. Okay, I think maybe they should lose their jobs over that because well, they're getting emotional about it, no? <laughs> but no, they weren't getting emotional at that stage because well, they were making a laugh at men's because laughing is an emotion. Um, so it, why didn't they lose their jobs? And then later on was a couple of days ago, pickle. A man came out and said um, that his football team conceded more goals because they got emotional. Yeah, the second uh, goal. They always, the, yeah, they yeah, the, the second, second goal. goal after the, they conceded the second goal quicker. And people were calling for his head because a man shouldn't be, um, a man shouldn't say that about a woman. Uh, but women can say what they like about men, but a man can't say what they like about women. I think that's double standards and it's, that's not equality. Uh, and we're all looking for equality. And now, we may as well discuss it now, people. Like, the, what he said, okay, and I, I, I mentioned to my wife, and he was Kevin, but he shouldn't have said it. My wife said the same thing too. She knows nothing about football. And I'm like, why shouldn't he have said it? That's his opinion. Everybody is allowed to have an opinion. Yeah. Okay. And I think, and I did a bit, a bit of research on Oh, and I googled all men more, all women more emotional than men, and some some studies have said yes, and some studies have said no. Okay, and these are studies. Okay, you can go back the, the facts. These are studies that have been in, in doc, doctors' report, not doctors' reports, but actual uh, people have studied this. Okay, yeah, medical and reports. Yeah, me- medical reports. Okay, and one I kind of took a, that no men and women are both emotional in the same standard. Okay. Men would use their emotion slightly different than men. Men will get angry and yeah. try to retaliate. That's why most men have fights. Okay, so men will fight with men more often. Okay, as in you've seen in football, you know, nice savage from Atletico Madrid try to fight Jack oh, Grealish. Okay, so they get men will get angrier and will try to retaliate. Okay, and that is their emotion to emotion to response. Well, females would respond slightly differently, and they'll get a different type of emotion, which would be become it'd be more of a sad emotion, yeah. and it will affect them for longer. Okay, so people are saying, "Oh, men are more, more women are more emotional." Well, no, they're not. It's just okay? a different. It's a different type, type of emotion. Of emotion. Yeah. Okay, so men will get angry, women will get a different type of will become more so sad. Yeah. Okay, and that is the response that the man is giving. But just I don't, yeah, I think. Mean, we have to be very careful, okay, not to segregate men and women, okay, on the way women want to become equal. Because yeah. if we go too far the other way, then it's again it's not equal. Okay, so I think it just yeah. has to be just we just need to be. And it, it was his opinion. He spoke to his captain. He spoke to his team as you pick up his team. Yeah, team that's what I'm going to say. Exactly. Yeah. That's why we can talk about this tonight because the team captain came out today and said this was all talked about beforehand when they were assessing everything and that and their previous games and stuff like that. And what was brought up was about the emotion that it is after the emotion that they felt then that possibly there was something that was causing it that was an emotion. So it was all something that was spoke about with the full team. This is a women's football team. So there's a hell of a lot more of them than there is the manager, right? This is something that was spoke about across the board with them all. In a room, as you do with teams, when you sit there and you talk to you and figure out what the fuck is going wrong here? Why did this happen in this game and this game and this game? Why are we conceding that second goal? Somebody maybe put their hand up and went, when we concede, my head just goes for 10 minutes and I, I don't know what I'm... You know, somebody could have said that and then somebody else is like... Yeah. You know what? I kind of feel that way too. So it took balls or somebody to stand up and say, you know, I kind of feel, you know, it just it pisses me off. You know what I mean? Can't say balls. Can't say you know, yeah, balls. You know, it took courage for him to stand yeah. up and say that in a dressing room. Like, you know, but it could have led then to other people saying the exact same thing. So, yeah, like she came out because people are saying, oh, it needs to be fired, all that kind of shit. The captain of the team came out and literally said, we literally talked about this together. So, yeah, he came out and said it on uh, straight after a game when you're losing 5 0. They lost 5 0. You know I mean? He said after him, he goes, Probably shouldn't have told you guys that. You know, because he was thinking to himself, that was something we talked about personally in the dressing yeah. room. That's where the problem was he, in his eyes. And I think he's right in that. Because he took something out of a dressing room, but should always stay in a dressing room. And he unfortunately, in the heat of the moment, I think what they yeah, realized just, was their just, issue. But he gave he an said, opinion. Yeah, and unfortunately, yeah, yeah. In, in this day and age, some people can't give opinions. And I think that's completely wrong. Everybody has to think, just because it doesn't equal the narrative of what yeah. we're talking about now, 
doesn't mean it's wrong or doesn't mean his opinion shouldn't count. It's just an opinion. Yeah, and I think a lot of people jump on the bandwagon now just because they think it's going to be the new something. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and it's, it's it's Gary uh, Lineker. <laughs> yeah, uh, Kev. I know when you were younger, you wanked a lot, right? And you probably still do now, right? Do you ever hurt yourself? Yeah, probably did. Not well, that I remember, but I doubt you did it like this, Kev. A man I, is. I, running... never, I never. No, I never stopped banjo string. I, I, we talked about that before. Somebody else yeah. did that for me. Yeah, a man rushed, hand of God, rushed to ICU after crunching lung while masturbating too hard. Okay, so crunching lung. Yeah, That's so some. There is, uh, now, you, you can say the line after I say this, right? This is a long one. No, I won't say it. Okay, that's what she said. A 20-year-old man was left in the intensive care after a freak accident happened while he was masturbating. The Swiss patient, who remains unnamed, obviously, uh, presumably, out of, <laughs> presumably out of embarrassment, suffered a rare lung injury, usually caused by rigorous exercise or violent coughing. Jeez, that guy really went at it, okay? He was hospitalized for three days, I spent a night in the ICU as the air had escaped from his lung and became lodged in his rib cage. The patient took himself to A and E after experiencing breathlessness and chest pain while he was performing the act in his bed. But when he arrived at the hospital, it was clear he had really done a number on himself. His face was swollen and crunching noises were coming from his neck down to his arms. The doctors diagnosed him with spontaneous pneumopediastinum which is the leakage of air from the lung to the ribs. This case is the first to be caused with masturbation. However, it has been noted happening before during sex. I bet that makes uh, the lad feel even better. I don't nope. believe it. I nope. don't believe it. What, did it happen? The man, yeah, the man's from Switzerland, right? That's like being from Cooley, okay? There's a lot of sheep in Switzerland, okay? I think... El Bara Bara Mu Bara Mu. He ran the bar. He ran the bar, and he said he was wanking. But really, I say if you found a sheep there on the hills of Sw- in Switzerland, you see it, the poor sheep there is in an awful state. Still hasn't got over it. But I, that, I, that, that wanking's a good story. It's a good excuse. Yeah, I- it is. <laughs> Great excuse. Like, oh yeah, I was having a wank. Uh, you're not going to tell the truth. Well, no. Well. <laughs> But if you go all the way to the hospital, right, would you not tell them the truth? Like, would like, it not? Like, a lot of people have got stuff stuck up, stuff stuck up them, okay? And, oh, I, I sat on it. Oh, I fell down on it, okay? No, it was just a sex game that went wrong, okay? The, most people wouldn't tell the truth about sexual injuries, okay? So I think he got, he, or he could have been with the, the, the doctor's wife or anything like that. You wouldn't know, but I wouldn't say that was a wank. I don't know, Kev. Just not fucking sure. And Camille, I, we... there's no way I have done. I went well hard, okay. And I don't know. How, I, I, I've never seen that happen in myself. Wow, Kev. Last week we said that there was a chap from our class that got married called Mr. Gavin Burns. There was a second one. B U R N S. There was a second one, and. We were chatting to him on Instagram. We said a big congrats. We have to give a shout out to Mr. Owen Stanley. Okay. Captain. Captain, Captain. Owen Stanley. I was about to ask you that because that man looked good in a fucking outfit. Hey? So it he does. does yeah. like, hey. um, fucking brilliant. Hey? But yeah, massive congrats uh, to yourself and the wife. I hope Una. he's had Una, I hope he's had a fantastic day. Same for Gav as well, obviously. You and the wife. Mrs. Burns. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they can marry the same day. Yeah, I know. Like that does the same. Like how, how fucking odd is that? Like you know what I mean? Like, okay. um, but yeah, no, that was look, it's cool. Two guys from cool. I uh, get my happy days, lads. Unfortunately, we did it a fucking long time ago, so it's a bit more of a life than we had. As only is now a captain, and we don't mean of a football team, um. So we don't. Kev, I was going to ask you on this week's show when you were younger and we first got our mobile phones, or when you started shifting girls and stuff like that, and you text them, you know. Were you a needy texter? As in, if they didn't reply. You, I spread this story, but you t- sent me this message, right? Okay. And are you a needy texter? And I'm like, Pickle, you are a needy texter. Oh, yeah. You, 100%. You, you, Pickle, 
it, it hasn't changed, right? Nope. He's nope. now 38 next week. Pickle would text me, and then I might, I might, I might have replied in what, 20 minutes. He's like, are you okay? And he, or he put in a different message, say, or even a question mark, just to ask me, more or less, is he, to get Hillary. an answer. So, Hillary. so the, the, the question, Pickle is still an easy text us. So that's when I, the first time I saw it, I was like, Pickle, this is you. Yeah, <laughs> you, it, you is. This. it is. It uh, is. And that's why I unfortunately have a story, right? But go I on, think, Kevin. I think, I think when I was, even when I was courting Louise, yeah. uh, I tried to be the cool guy, first of all. I mean, I, <laughs> she, she, she texted and I'd wait 10 minutes to get to reply. And then you saw, I slowly morphed in the other way. And I was like, what the fuck is she not writing back for? Uh, She's with another man. She's obviously with another man. Clearly. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Just stuff like that. But it, I don't know. It's, yeah. I think everyone does at certain points. Yeah, well, so when I was young, <laughs> already asked it, right? <laughs> okay. When I was young, <laughs> was, the amount of messages you have on my phone, yeah, uh, from, um, from Mr. Pickering. So I used to walk with a girl called Michelle, right? And Michelle had a tongue pierced, right? And I'd never shifted a girl before with a tongue pierced, okay? So this is probably about maybe 19, 20 or something like that, okay? So, Kev, you shift many girls with tongue pierced? Twice. Nice. Same girl, no? No. 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 Okay. Well, uh, so I walked to this girl in Vodafone. Twice. Yeah. I walked to this girl in Vodafone. She was stunning. Okay. And we were good mates. You know, that, as always, I was the friend. Like, you know what I mean? You got to love that friend zone. Hey? Um, and so we were out one night. Like, we always were. All of a load of us, right? But we were on the dance floor in Vickers. Okay. And we were dancing away and all this kind of stuff. And I was thinking, tonight's the night that I'm going to try and shift her. Right? Definitely. Getting on great. I'm going to try and shift an area. And she's talking into my ear while the music's on, right? And I don't know what she's saying to me, right? But she's talking you don't care. about no, because she's saying about how she's wanting to shift somebody and all this kind of stuff, right? And I thought that she said to me that she wanted to shift me, right? Lovely. So I was like, oh, here, look, yeah, look, I was thinking that as well. You know what I mean? Like, and as I'm answering her back, her eyes are kind of like, what the fuck is he talking about? I'm like, yeah, like, you know what I mean? And I'm like, I'm obviously just drink involved as well. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it goes like, look, you're super fucking sexy. Your tongue's pierced. You know what I mean? It'd be class to fucking shift you, right? And she's like, did you not hear what I said? And we're still on the dance floor, right? And I'm like, no, yeah, okay. I heard you. She's like, no, like, I said I wanted to shift David and one of the other lads, right? And I was like, ah, fuck. Right, I goes, and I was in my head, I was going to say, I'm going to joke with you, of course I heard you, I'll go get him, no, I, didn't, I was like, right, fair enough, I goes, but look, we're here now, what's the chances, and fair play to her credit, she was like, you know what, why not, so we shifted, okay, which was grand, right, we shifted on dance floor, we, the night went on, we kept on going, blah, 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 right, but we shifted that night, so say that was a Friday night, right, in Vickers, okay, Saturday in Vickers, okay, back then, I used to walk in the Green Ore Bar, Okay, when my brother had the pub out in Green Hall, right? And I used to go out there work well, basically the whole day shift, right? So I'd be out there working and I was texting her because obviously I shifted her, Kev, which means you're in love. I'm in love, right? Mm-hmm. So I texted her and I said, Look, like just thinking about last night and that, like you know, like I really like you and all this kind of stuff. Oh, Even though I clearly fuck. knew that, like, yeah. she told me she wanted to shift one of the lads and literally only shifted me because it mm-hmm. kind of got awkward, but not in a bad way. It just got kind of like, I feel sorry for you now. Sound. Let's use that, okay? Um, texting her anyway, and all of a sudden, there was no response. I said, what the fuck? I said, I need to fucking know what's going on here. So, anybody who doesn't know where Green Ore is, it's out for all the boats and all that shit is, okay? On the way to Carlingford, mm-hmm. on the side way to Carlingford, right? So, there's one shop. So it's like Coronation Street, because there's one street, right? There's one shop. So I ran into the shop, and I bought a tenner's credit. Oh, right? as you do? Yeah. And then I text her the number to put it into her phone, okay? What number? The credit number. Like, you remember you used to have type in, like, a 16-digit number or something? Remember, remember the piece of paper? So you bought credit for her to use? To text me back, right? <laughs> now, she could have had credit. I just wasn't texting me back. I didn't know that. How was I to find out? Let's find out this way, right? Mm-hmm. So I sent her credit, <laughs> right? Um. And then she texts me back going, oh, is this a scam? Or is this a, what is this? Is this going to do something to my phone? And I'm like, oh, so you have got credit. So, right? Yeah, I know. I was like, oh, yeah, fuck you, yeah, right? Okay. But anyway, she topped it up. We were texting then for another five minutes. And uh, she basically made it very clear that it was like, look, it was just a one-time shift. We're pals. Let's keep it that way. You know what I mean? 
friend zone, Pickles fucking home with <laughs> most girls. You loved uh, being there, didn't you? Oh man, Kev, like seriously. I said before a bit like before my wedding dance, the best dance that I ever performed with a girl, right? Which was Robbie Williams Angels at my brother's wedding, right? And that was Sarah that the dancers went, right? Great pals at all. Never shift her. Never got fucking near her. So I didn't like okay. And uh yeah, I'm getting a wee bit emotional like Kev. I'm getting a wee bit emotional like getting teary eyed. So I am like okay. Oh. Thank God my name's not Kira. We get right. angry. Men get, get angry. angry. Yeah, I'm getting angry. Hey. But yeah, so in regards to me being a needy texter, there's just one example of it. But my God, I can guarantee you this, guys, that as soon as I shifted somebody within a day, I was texting the life out of them. Um, because as we all know, when a girl shows a little bit of interest, Pico falls in love with that girl. So we know just okay. surrounds up with interest. Oh, I'm telling you, like, you know what I mean? I'll be sending flowers, I'll be sending chocolates, I'll be sending fucking, you know what I mean? You name it. And she'd be like, I shifted you like once. Now you'd be sending dick pics. But as I said before, never my dick. So <laughs> I just need to get the picture of yours that you used to have, Kevin. Just use it and send it to people. Like, uh, remember the one, Kevin, the hotel when you were holding the food thing over the food plate the, over your the Mickey? Cl- the clash. The clash over your Mickey, but naked, standing yeah. in the Hilton Hotel in Belfast. Wow. Deadly. Kev, we're coming towards the end of the show, right? But we're getting closer as well to hopefully, if Connor is still able to do it, the Marvel Inc. tattoo, right? Yeah. We're having a bit of an issue with the designs because Pico... Is a fairy. Yeah, and doesn't know what the fuck he wants to get on his body because he now is realizing that whatever Pico was on his sent, body is staying on. Pico sent me pictures the other day of butterflies. Butterflies. Yeah, but a blue one and a pink one. Of, on him. Butterfly with like a something coming out. For, a scroll. Like a fucking, yeah, a scroll yeah. with the name of each kid. That on. you'd really see on a butterfly, wouldn't you? Uh, obviously, butterflies carrying scrolls. Yeah. Um, uh, I think it's part of his part of his wings or something. Look really cool. No. I don't know. I'm, I'm, if anybody has any ideas, what kind of tattoos I should get that involves... Let's get the two name. names. Let's get two names. Well, just like 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 Emma, Jamie, just wrote. But it's yeah. not just I could do it with a pen. Yeah. I could do it with a pen. Do, like. uh, the, the, the pen rub off. I could do it with a pen and a marker. Still come off at the end. But you <laughs> no, just think. get the two, the two names in a scroll. Yeah, I just, just don't fucking name know. tattoos. Oh, Kev, I swear to God, I have looked at every fucking name tattoo that there is. There's people there with faces of kids. There's people there with names and date of births. And Connor said date of births look more like death dates than they do birth yeah, dates. Yeah. yeah, so I was like, right, you're the pro. So I'm hoping he's going to text back at some point and just go, right, Pickle, this is what I'm putting in you. In you? On you? Not in me. He is not putting anything in me. Let me make that clear. This is a tattoo joint we're talking about here. So it is like, hey. But um, Kev, are we happy enough with everything that we've done today? I think we've covered. I'm just looking through my list. That I think we have everything covered that we needed to cover this week. Yeah. So the thing that I mentioned for my sister, which is the Skittles thing, uh, vintage cars, vintage tractors, first of May. That's the bank holiday weekend, Kev, is it? And um, yes, could be. Yeah, yeah. before. Yeah, before. Yeah, so Sunday the first. Yeah, so that'd be the bank holiday weekend. So yeah, check that out, guys. Remember, starting at Lennon's Pub in Talonstown, uh, the registrations at eleven thirty a.m. Tractors and vintage cars are all welcome. Uh, still no word back on our episode sixty nine guest, um, Neve. God knows I have sent you a message on every single social media platform apart from setting up an OnlyFans account. Um, if anybody from Drahada and there's a lot of you to watch this still, which is surprising. No her, our mates were her, or know any family members or anything like that that she still talks to, please let us know. Um, we want to get her on the show. Seriously, she's got like a hundred thousand fucking followers and shit like that. So I just want to have, see how you set up an OnlyFans. I would you do it? I'd love to do it. No, you said last week you'd like have it hang like your jacket on your Mickey and stuff like that. Yeah, I would, I would, I would do it. No, I if, if people wanted to see how to not grow a beard or like how to just, I think, I think there'd be enough interest in my. Penis, penis. Uh, to to guess that, that many followers, because I well, wouldn't you... actually get it out all the time. I'd be in boxer shorts a lot and grey tracks of bottoms, because that shows off your 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 member your quite well. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's what I do. That's what I'd be into. Uh, and then if you pay a high enough premium, then you get a dick pic. Deadly. Oh, and also, uh, 
the most common song that got sent in today on the thingy for the top five was Mark McCabe, Maniac 2000. Uh, See, I, I thought that Martina, was going to be your number one. Yeah, Martina, I think it was uh, one of the ones sent. It got sent in by a few people, so it was as well. Um, but yeah, yeah, but I never really thought about it because we already talked about that with Mickey Joe. You know what I mean? Our pal Mickey Joe Howard. You know, we already chatted to him about that. Um, so we did. But nice saying that, you know what I mean, isn't it? Um, but yeah, Kev. Well, we call it an episode, my man. We call that an episode. I think that's an, enough for this week. Good man. Hey, hope everybody has a good week. Hope everybody's good Easter. He loads Easter eggs. You know what I mean? Happy Easter and happy birthday to you, Mr. Pickering. Thank you very much, sir. I'm sure uh, my present is on the way, uh, as all you from did who? get spoilt from you. I'm sure, seeing as I spoiled you for your birthday. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you we didn't, didn't spoil me. Who made the effort to get you all the Peter Cherry stuff? This guy. Well, I think that was to do with Peter Cherry and to Justine. Justine did not text me saying it's Kev's bear to want to get him something, right? That's not how that conversation went. Justine well, will stand up for me. Unfortunately, I don't have a, I'm still waiting on one last present. I know. I, I, fucking I, I, re- I really need that one because this could be a big one. Yeah, this could be a big one. He's also meant to come on to the show, but fingers crossed, Kev, I'll, I'll send him a message and get it sorted for you. But listen, guys. Because, because like, Pickle, like, let's be honest about it. Like, if this goes the way it's taking the going, it's. It's huge. worth money. Yeah, it is. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. Again, that's what she said. Right, guys, listen, have a great week. As we always say, share the show, but stick it into the WhatsApp groups. Give us a five star rating on um, Spotify. We're climbing back up the charts again. We are number one, so we don't have to go any higher, but we drop way down and then we start climbing again, okay? We want to get back to number one spot. Have a savage week, guys, and have a savage Easter. Happy Easter.